And today I'm excited to be presenting to you the next generation of AIP and how it's transforming end-to-end -end operations for our customers. Every Palantir deployment exists to drive operational outcomes against our customers' core mission and the critical role that they play in the world, from the factory floor to the hospital ward and from the battlefield to the boardroom. That requires an unwavering focus on empowering the operator at the front line, explicitly moving beyond analysis and insight, and instead owning the outcome of every decision. The relentless pursuit of this across our customers continues to expose where the traditional software playbook falls short. The market is saturated with light, unopinionated tooling, thin wrappers on existing process that provide insight without action, all forcing the buyer to conform their business to the constraints of their software. AI solutions have only further cluttered the landscape, with everything from surface-level chatbots to LLM infra solutions all competing for their place in the architecture diagram, without any of them truly closing the loop to decisions that impact the business. Palantir's customers sit at the bleeding edge. They operate in some of the most mission-critical, sensitive, and competitive environments. They therefore demand more from the systems on which they build and run their operations. This ambition requires building not just point solutions or a set of use cases, but instead a connected operating system for the enterprise. Let's look at this from the perspective of one company a notional organization called Onyx Incorporated, which represents the culmination of hundreds of production AIP deployments globally. This notional enterprise is a global healthcare manufacturer and distributor. Onyx's operations are run on Palantir, with ontology as the connective tissue across all enterprise context, operational logic, and decision-making. This enables workflows that are incredibly rich and detailed, integrating down to the sensor level of every machine and the raw materials behind every product. This foundation is intrinsically cross-domain, every function of the business operating on the same ground truth and enabling chained optimization like never before. Most critically, this rich, connected ontology serves as the foundation for a new approach to decision-making. Core functions of the business are now agent-driven, with human operators refocused to only the most critical, complex, and valuable of actions requiring their involvement. These agent-driven workflows span the interconnected operations of Onyx Incorporated. So let's dive into one of these workflows in more detail, starting with order fulfillment. This is our inventory manager. Here I can monitor the movement of every customer order through the automated flow that takes orders through every core stage of fulfillment. From initial review of the incoming order, including attachments, comments, and communications from the customer, to allocation of inventory to every order, and then assigning of those orders to shipments optimizing for on-time delivery and minimizing shipment costs. My automations are set up in a way that every new order is worked on in parallel, allowing hundreds, if not thousands, of orders to be processed every minute. This human AI teaming is made possible by a core principle of AIP, that every primitive of the ontology can be leveraged by both human operators and AI agents. Jumping under the hood of this workflow, we see the circuitry of the ontology that connects the context of my enterprise, the logic of my business processes, and the actions that enact decisions. These are the building blocks of my enterprise operating system, with every one of those building blocks a common interface between human users and AI agents. Zooming in even further, we see how this operational layer is the culmination of all existing components and systems across my enterprise. Wherever data and logic sit in whatever form, storage, or compute, AIP's multimodal data plane enables us to ingest or virtualize it into the ontology, as well as write back to the systems of action that need to be orchestrated to enact operator decisions. This is the core of Palantir's platform, enabling the building of an ontology to drive decision-making at the front line, agnostic to the architecture that sits beneath it, whilst maintaining granular control of permissions, data health, and change management. So, 
How does this ontology drive agent automation at Onyx? Well, let's look at one of the agents involved in this process to see that in action. This is AIP Logic, an application for building, evaluating, and deploying agents, all built with the same building blocks of the ontology. Logic allows me to serve these primitives to LLMs of my choice as tools, allowing us to automate the manual, repetitive workflows that draw my operator's time from the actions uniquely requiring their expertise. This involves combining multiple LLM blocks, providing LLM of my choosing with the instructions, the context, and the tools to drive decisions across my ontology. Object query tools allow my agents to reach out to specific parts of my ontology to retrieve context relevant to their inputs and the tasks that they're carrying out. We also provide action tools, the very same actions that a human operator would use to enact decisions. Logic allows me to give those same actions to the LLM to use without any additional configuration required to ready these tools for AI. As we further explore this inventory allocation agent, we see how these tools allow the agent to query real-time inventory levels and even unstructured documentation to identify relevant procedures and SOPs. And our agents are built to reason and solution adverse situations based on the logic that I encode. For example, this agent has some options for dealing with inventory shortages. In this case, the agent has access to a function tool to run an inventory reallocation model. This will scenario model a movement of inventory from one distribution center to another to see if there will be any adverse downstream effects based on my order backlog and my sales forecasts. We can also provide our agent with our product documentation to determine whether a SKU substitution is possible to alleviate a shortage. What can and can't be automated can be controlled granularly at the logic level, but then also part of the automation that defines when this agent is triggered. This automation provides me with the controls over agent trigger criteria, as well as whether edits to the ontology can be made autonomously by the automation. I also have control over dynamic retries and other safety nets to ensure maximum reliability of my in-production agents. With these granular controls, AI automation becomes a dial that I can tune up or down depending on the maturity and the impact of my workflow. Speaking of in-production, as we increase the breadth and depth of automation across the enterprise, it's critical to maintain visibility of how my agents are performing. For this, we have AIP evals. Evals allow me to set up any number of test cases and evaluators against my logic, everything from checking for specific outputs to rubric graders, where I can use another LLM as a judge to evaluate my logic against a defined criteria. And since changing LLMs is as simple as a dropdown, I can very quickly run tests to see what combination of LLMs is optimal for each individual agent. So we've seen how agents are built, tested, and deployed. Let's zoom back out to our inventory manager workflow to see how this enables my operators to work in collaboration with my agents. We can see all of those customer orders have now been processed, with the majority being fulfilled autonomously by my network of agents. But a subset have been flagged for user action. Jumping in as the operator, I now have a full action log handled by the agent. I can see what data was accessed, what tools were used, and how that all contributed to the agent's final decision. This becomes valuable context as I pick up where the agent left off and take the required actions to move this order forward. I now have a bespoke view in order to review and action on the orders being flagged by my agents. I can review agent proposals, mitigating the need for me to manually run through scenarios myself. And instead, I can just review, edit, and feed back on these proposed actions as needed. And as the user, I can approve this recommendation to enact the proposed actions and get this customer order back in the agent orchestrated flow. My actions are set up to write back to my source systems, my MRP, my production schedules, and all relevant scenarios, keeping everything in sync. For our customers building with warp speed, this is transforming how they respond to rapidly changing supply and demand. 
And this decision doesn't just become exhaust into the ether. Every response to an agent proposal is captured in the ontology. As shown previously, the same tools available to my agent to propose this action are available to me as the operator to take alternative actions as I see fit, including triggering new purchase orders or alternative allocations of inventory. And I can also add commentary on the agent's specific working to call out errors or maybe even add missing context that may have materially impacted the decision here. I'm contributing back to the ontology in a way that informs a feedback loop for this workflow based on context that may not currently exist in any system. This tribal knowledge capture is now happening continually across all workflows. All of the context, the experience, and the logic being incorporated into decisions that lives only in the minds of your operators. You can now manage it as a workflow, not only tracking and reviewing this context, but deploying it back into your workflows as a governed feedback loop. So this process has been redefined around human AI teaming, our operators working collaboratively with our AI agents, with actions and their outcomes continually enriching the enterprise context captured in the ontology. Zooming out further, we see this is just a subset of the overall process. We see that every state change of the order fulfillment process is not only tracked in the platform, but also augmented by AI agent automations. As we start chaining these agents together, you're establishing a limitlessly scalable AI labor that can operate autonomously alongside other users. This becomes the foundations of the kinetics of my business. And this AI labor isn't just reactive to triggers. My agents can also proactively monitor my assets to get ahead of potential risks to my operations. Looking upstream of fulfillment now to manufacturing, our maintenance workflow centers around equipment failure risks generated by an ML model running against live telemetry from our production machinery. Our first agent is regularly running this failure risk model against all machines on all production lines globally. This model will take in real-time telemetry from the machine, which we have flowing into the ontology, and run anomaly detection to identify the risk of imminent failure. This agent then chains multiple downstream models to contextualize and prioritize this risk, including calculating the maintenance cost to repair the machine and the revenue loss if the production line goes down. These are powerful models brought to the business by the ontology and democratized to both human operators and AI agents. These agent-identified failure risks then trigger a dedicated agent chain for the process, including identifying a recommended solution for every alert based on documentation, historic maintenance, and of course, our enterprise feedback loop. Then we have dynamic scheduling for the maintenance to go to an optimal technician based on skill set and availability. All of this dynamically prioritized based on that calculated dollar risk of the downtime. The result of this chained agent flow, well, now my technicians have their own dedicated work queues geared towards providing operators with all the context and the guidance to interpret and action on issues quickly. Every machine is entirely ontologized, meaning each alert is tied to the specific component I need to repair or replace to prevent this predicted downtime. Leveraging all of the context of the component's position in the machine, its associated sensor data, and of course, our maintenance history. And then finally, we again have that opportunity to capture context and the outcome of this maintenance action from the field, contributing back to our feedback loop and leveling up this workflow with every work order. Yet another workflow building on and contributing back to our enterprise operating system, spanning the full value chain of Onyx Incorporated. So to conclude, the ontology enables a connected operating system required by these institutions operating at the bleeding edge. It serves as a common interface for both humans and AI agents across all types of applications, enabling enterprises to steadily and smoothly increase AI-driven automation, redefining the operations of the business as the world evolves around it.